casting essentials and binds and whatnot, I do this properly. I just don't have to, so. It's time. And then Matt will forget to, when Matt's recording, I'll never forget to do two. It's full screen, Chief. Get fucked. Can I talk? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Pepega. Pepega. Wow. My team I'm is sure cringe. Demo. Did you hear your soldier? I didn't yeah. properly. I yeah, don't I think. was gonna say. Ooh, Roll out a bit out. slow. Roll out very slow. But it's fine. They're slow. They're slow too. Yeah, That's scout pushers. Oh, oh. Far left. You, uh, did you guys pick a side, by the way, this mid? Uh, I called right. left, but then my pocket started going lower, so I had to go with him. No, you, you guys got a pick, but that's got isolated. To... You shouldn't be with us. You go separate. I mean... I need heals. Well, yeah, I can arrow you and shit. It's fine. I can go I top left. Your... Some of your team was like, I don't know what happened there. You guys saying, obviously, you didn't know which side you were going, so... It's... Uh, you guys were originally gonna go up there, but then you decided to come this way. There were some people who were like really isolated here who should have probably died. But you guys ended up like getting the picks anyway, so it's fine. I mean, your med lived there. And uh, their med lived, which is very important. You guys don't really. You should let us go here, yeah, and go. You guys should have been more like uh, quickly in order to chase their med. Because you should have noticed that it's only like him and maybe someone else alive. You don't need to stack this, by the way. You let a scout and then you go forward. Um, here you should know it's even or it's about even because the med lived. You guys are running crit spread, right? Yeah, by accident. So don't no, fine. don't think about it too you guys much. Can rush these two players down. You guys get yeah, a we got early, one. But, no, but you traded, which is not the best. Oh, yeah. With a crit sprig, you might want to force them. Yeah, that's, that's what I was calling. Oh, they, are, they are also running crit sprig, so... Focusing, you're, like, tunneling that soldier. Kill the med, which is not... I got, I got crit stickied. I mean... I don't know how, how, like, how that round worked. Your soldier, like, shot at their soldier first. What you want to do in that scenario is... You got crit sprig. Uh, did you guys know that they were running crit spree, by the way, or did you just I, I found out as soon as we pushed, I saw the meds medigun. Oh, that's fine then. Because if you didn't know, like, the first thing you want to do there in that scenario is drop their medic. Yeah, yeah. Right, so no, I, I agree. I mean, we should have dropped their medic anyway, because they might have had Uber by then. I, I, yeah, call, I called to go in and force them. Out. Like, I remember I called to go in and force them. But, yeah. um, you saw that soldier up top and sort of tunnel visioned on him. Yeah, you guys, you were like tunnel visioning the soldier up there. You should uh, be shooting that combo. That's like the most priority. Did anyone call the gun on far left? Did anyone actually like see the gun? Uh, so if you guys were like pushing uh, through main, you gotta like have somebody come through one of the sides and then somebody has to know there was a gun there. You're lucky that you managed to get these frags and then managed to stay on point. I mean, it works out for you, but like in an ideal world, you would have like, you know, you would force them here, right? And they like if they're running Uber, and then you'd like come back here, and then you'd build your crits out and try to get picks again. But they were running crits, so. It's just like you guys managed to get the picks, which is what ended helping you win. This is very slow rollout again. You getting called out? Scout's isolated far left, you would have died there. That scout doesn't even look at you, why? You guys get an early in. pick. Traded. You guys don't have position here. You should know to leave. Hopefully. You you're spamming like their combo, but like you should be looking to to get out. So like if you notice that mid there, I'm probably gonna load back in for about ten thousand, right? If you notice that mid, one of your scouts is isolated on like far left, just by himself. That's like a type of scout that I would kill here, so I don't know, I'm gonna uh, try and slow down to see like exactly what happens, right? This is when like they get like two pits, right? Yeah, so you're already two down. Some uh, You should have known that that scout was there, by the way, like he was going behind. 
And then you guys spend way too long here. Like you should realize you didn't have position and you should have left quickly. I tried to just do juke the scout, but like running yeah, in a no. straight line obviously doesn't help you survive. Yeah. But it was a bit late for that. We should have just had a more div like after this mid we actually start going left like I called. Mm -hmm. I was a bit confused why Sun kept going lower with Yug. Mm -hmm. And then. Because it was like uh, as you notice, if I was like on like blue team and I saw that scout isolated far right for them, it's like far right for them. Y you'd kill them, right? Yeah. No, I I I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, of course. But that scout shouldn't be isolated because we would be going top left. And after that, yeah. it, it was fine because I'd be there with him. Also, like, your soldiers jump early, it was fine. You gain less position because they were also slow, but... You just didn't seem like the damage was being done. Their last pushes were not good. From what I saw. I think it was because of you. So, they have ad here. Well... They're, yeah, they're they should be pushing point. in. Yeah. They've lost like they're losing ads, so you guys should be able to hold this. It's already bad for them. Too late. I think this this to me looks like a miscommunication. Like they they called sentry and then they just didn't know what to do. Yeah, if I was them, I would have like tried to Uber, kill the sentry, and then focus the heavy, and then try to lock you guys in. But they just didn't take the ad. I mean, this is playing it beyond safe. Like that soldier dies, that's fine. They feed two and oh it's a crit streak, never mind. That's why. I got crits they again. Their demo man and, yeah. They got me though, but it's it's fine. We got I mean, a free push. In the ideal world you live there, but Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to uh yeah, I wanted to exchange but I just I think I uh didn't press the button fast enough. That's you didn't know enough. I mean like with Chris Kriegs, if you're not expecting them, then you might drop, it's fine. You know? But like, yeah. This soldier shouldn't be feeding you. Your med dies, right? Yeah. And their med dies, so it's even. Like, if there's not really an important pick, the devil man would be fine, which is what he was going for, but like, I don't know. I it's think you like overestimate open. Like, most of these players are just making plays for the sake of it. Classy dies, that's a, that's a feed. No, no, the thing is, if you killed your demo man, they could have maybe pushed. And this guy dies as well. Normally, they'd be sacking one person at a time, or like two people, and then like they'd get ready to leave. So you guys have like two, two, like, number ads, right? Like, uh, I think yeah. we're just waiting for Uber to get this. Yeah. yeah. So you force them, that's all just like... You guys don't need to take an exchange here. You should try and keep your medic with Uber. It's fine if you exchange, but it's not like the ideal scenario. The ideal scenario there, right? I then walk you out. Notice. Yeah, you can stay inside on second. Your soldier went through. Your soldier forced them, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter if your soldier dies now. They have to like walk all this path across here and then into second in order to try and get you. Thing is that you guys went so far forward that you guys had to use, otherwise you would die. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I just trust our like our dm in that fight more to just That's win and i just popped because I, I knew he would win the fight yeah so i'm getting four picks is pretty good you guys obviously get a better ruber because it's the later ruber but in an ideal world you wouldn't have to use there at all and then you could take se uh, mid and then uh, maybe second for free as well but then med dies so you guys should have ad here you guys should be building this by the way Sniper. Nobody, nobody jumped I, sniper. I called it. I remember I called him like 10 seconds yeah. before that and it just... Yeah, yeah. Flares was waiting for a heal. Uh, like, the thing is with your help, uh, with your help as Roma, it's a very finicky thing. But if the, the sniper there is isolated and he has to hit like a god shot on you, you know? Yeah. So it's like worth the risk. Of and even if you do get picked, it's better than the medic. The shot. You should like be jumping away from here, like back all the way there. Going for the air show that could have gotten you killed, but yeah. <laughs> Clip That's though. Fine. You guys get you guys get a pick. It's twenty out to them, and they got a sniper. You see this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. You guys can go for a sack because they're one down. And they've also got a sniper. What you could have done is either like gone for a sack on the medic, because you know they've got ad and they lost one, or you could have uh, actually. Because this. No, we've got disad. That's why I'm holding uh, yeah, backwards. 
yeah, no, they got the, it, you had this side, right? But it's 20 this side. But you had, they lost a player, right? Yeah, yeah. So what happened is, what you could have done is you could have gone and sacked in because they didn't have yet. And even if they did, you could have gone a force. Sure. Or another way you could have played this is, you know, they had a sniper. You got a pick on the soldier, right? This sniper was playing about here. Yeah, their just just focus the sniper there. a bit. Yeah, their sniper was really isolated. You could have like gone in and jumped the sniper, killed them, and then you'd have two two players, right? You, yeah. You guys may be at a side this side, but you have two players off on them. So what you could do is like come across the valley and start spamming them really heavily, and then you maybe you might jump and might kill this medic early, right? Sure, sure. Or like you deal enough spam where they force, and then you guys could leave safely. But it's fine. It becomes a stalemate. It's like it's not like a big deal, you know what I mean? This right, position I gotta... is fine. You guys are like holding back at back at mid. Flares, this position is fine. You're just spamming. Uh, somebody left, but yeah. So you guys are like you guys are expecting them to sack. This is the weird thing that I think we were talking about as well. Blue team's very aggro on this, like um. And we were talking about how if they like get too aggro, they'd wipe because they're putting a lot of pressure, right? Mm -hmm. But they can like get bombed or like they can be um, rotated on. Yeah. And I think that is what happens here. Is, yeah, like, here I just called. Uh, they were in lobby, so I think I just called to go and exchange into them. Yeah, normally you wouldn't expect them to do this. Like they can take space, and you would expect them to take space sometime. But I uh, like me and my team were talking like this probably wouldn't be it. We'd like sit on second, right? We'd wait for, like, one of you guys to sack in, because it's even, right? We'd expect, like, players to sack in, right? Sure. And then once we get a pick on players, we'd all come about here in Valley, right? And we'd try to spam the point. And then we'd send, like, a sack in. Or if, like, it didn't return, we'd try to go back to second. Okay. Because that way you're getting, like, the pressure, and you got, like, a pick already to work with. What they're doing now is they're just, like, pressuring. Which is fine, but, like... You guys are on the driver's seat. You guys shouldn't be pushing into them. This was just a nice pipe you hit on this dude. Easy. And then med dropped. Oh, yeah. Actually, this was what happened. Yeah. Your soldiers just jumped them at the right time. Your med shouldn't die here. That's good. Yeah. You guys play this fine. Like, perfectly fine. Your soldiers saw, like, they were coming through here in lower. And then you just jumped and dropped them. Yeah, I remember I called, like, just straight to last. Leave one scout behind. Yeah. That's fine. This is fine. Demo man wants to like, you want to come more aggro, you want to come here, because when you come here, you can like lock down this spawn door, and then you only have this door to worry about, but they all came out if you notice. Yeah, yeah I, I just, mean, I just waited for them to group up a bit, so our uber could be like more devastating, and then I just nah, popped our soldier and demo in on them. for you to come more aggro and put sticky here, because they only have- Nah, but the, when, when I walked in, on, on left, there were already two people like, holding that position. And they got driven back. Yeah, they went back to spawn. Like yeah, you know, I, I get that. Our demo was already spamming, though. Like, I just wanted to pop in. That's fair enough. I mean, like, you use the Uber to win. You guys had the position and the picks. It, it was, like, fine. Oh, it this worked. is Scott Classic. Oh. I thought this you... is, no, this is the Div 2 Spike Classic. No, but there's a Classic. No, no, this isn't, like, the Prem Classic. No, this is the Scott Classic. <laughs> I've been for a while. The prem ones were just there. Okay. Yeah, if you notice here, we're actually go top left and hold it with our med. Your team seems very split still here. Like, if you notice, your your soldier, your medic was here. Your demo man's there. Uh, we can't see your mouse, by the way. Oh, yeah, my bad. Um, so what happened is... It, 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 oh, yeah. That would probably be useful, but, like, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see my top corner? Yeah. Your your medic is here. Your soldier's here. Yeah. Your demo man's here. Another soldier's here, and your scout's here. So like you guys still aren't like really playing on the same side because what you want to do is you want to keep your demo man, your medicus, and like your pocket scout close by. I think with that, uh, we were fine on the left, but Yug, as soon as he gets his damage out, needs to start walking like commit to walking towards me. He needs to commit towards the side. As far as I'm seeing, he seems isolated. Like yeah, well, that's what that's what I mean. With... Yeah. So you guys are like really spread out. Uh, the the logic with flares being on the right is that if we're ready for a double bomb, 
uh, both no, no, soldiers. He's, he's playing the flank. Yeah, that, that's he's what I meant. He's there, and then, like, your flanks go somewhere here. Yeah. Which it, is fine, it works. Okay. Uh, so you, what, all you're saying is that Yug's slightly, like, isolated and should be on the left with us. Yeah, Yug's not playing with, like, your medic. He's, ten, he's going more on the flank here. I yeah. called to go bottom right. So you called, uh, so the problem is, like, you guys are having split comms. You're probably yeah, that must be it then. Left. You guys just need to, like, listen to one person. One person says it. Normally your demo man says which side. And you just follow your demo man. And then he says that, and then the flank should know to go to the side that the combo is in. Okay, we'll, we'll, um, we'll work on that. He's got recommit. Your medic shouldn't die here. Okay. That's unfortunate. At least you guys, yeah, you guys get the enemy medic. Yeah, there was a positive exchange, but you, you we had an advantage, so didn't need to uh, drop anyone. Yeah, they fed people in, but like as soon as you guys noticed, like your med was somewhere around here, it was just like, like you guys were slow at killing them. Sun, which oh, yeah, which Sun happens, was really doesn't it? Alone. Sun was like all the way back here somehow, very isolated. Like the demo man lived. You you don't need to chase for a demo man. It's e it's already like even, uh, like you're gonna die, you're gonna spawn. No one's really gonna push off like you getting like a demo pick because no one's in position to. Like it's a good pick, but in that scenario, you're like not changing the scenario at all, the situation. This is still fine. So you guys are doing the exact same thing you did to them last time. You guys are building, you guys are playing back. This is fine. They're pressuring somewhat, but like. Yeah, something like this. This is this works. Like I have no quarrels with this. You guys aren't like, do you put like any traps or like you spamming them hard enough? Like this guy shouldn't walk in that far for free. He dies here, right? Okay, you chase the frag. It's fine. You trade one for one. You, uh, did you call that these guys were weak? Maybe somebody could. Have I I think yeah, we we sort of wanted to push in. Air shot. <laughs> Getting kited here, but I, 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 I dropped because I was like, I'm not getting forced here with three people around me. I don't know if that's the right logic or not. You want to use to save your life. Hmm. Like you got three people that there. Like I agree with you 100%. You shouldn't be using. Your team should have killed him, or your team beat. So. Okay. Yeah. No. I meant. I meant in that specific situation. I was like, I'm not gonna use here. Because, like, it's better to, use to save your life, but yeah, no, you had the right idea. Flare's eyes. At least you guys get the medic, the enemy medic. They use the in. You guys try to, like, uh, buy time for your spawners. Yeah. It's fine. I think that was fine. But you guys don't have a demo man yet, but you're getting forward spawn, so you guys should be able to hold that. Flares. <laughs> what? You didn't mean it to be Sorry BM. about that talk, not meant to be BM. <laughs> yeah. It's... So you guys, you guys, you guys should be expecting like the medic to be healing this whole time, or you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. As soon as soon as they spawn, you expect them to be healing. So I don't know if you guys knew there was an ad here or not. Um, I think I was aware that we had ad. Hold on a second. Let's go to boys in thousand. Yo, that was my wallpaper at some point. It's raise hood. Raise your raise hood pause. What the fuck? I can't play the heavy yet. Nah, no, I no, may no, have no, gone no. too forward. Doesn't matter. Get a job, get a job. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Oh well. Yeah, I went too forward. Oh well. So if you guys are aware of this ad, anyways, you guys should be looking to come over here and start pressuring them. Hopefully, you guys were playing really far back. When you're about 80 or 90 and you know you got ad, you guys gotta be like a bit quicker in coming in here. No, I agree. Uh, I don't know. I think I just gravitate towards playing it safe. It, if you notice the ad, like look at you, look at the Uber percentages now. I you called, had, like, I called like Sun to jump in here. Yeah, now, but now I, they got like 80 Some messed up the jumper. You guys killed the demo man thingy. That's fine. I mean, like, you guys were just really slow there. Like, extremely slow. You guys should know there's, like, some people behind, right? Yeah, I think we did. Because if you guys yeah. were pushing here... 
that's unfortunate. Because uh, if you guys are pushing through here, your flank has to be watching this side. Mm -hmm. So you guys should have been aware of people, you know, there. Uh, they got out now, uh, you should not give them as if, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should be building this back. Or, like, they, you know, they still don't have, like, two picks, but they got Uber. If they use into you, you guys are going to get wiped here. So you guys don't need to be this forward. Go play back like how you were doing it here. Like, just build back here. That works. But yeah, like, they're also giving up their ad now. It's like 100 to 50. If you guys should sit back, start healing, keep on healing. Look, they're doing this fine. You know, they've got like 100%. They're a bit slow, but like, they're taking this valley space, right? Yeah. And then... Uh, no, I, I, I was, I was on the back pedal. Yeah. For a, for they, a majority a of push. that. They did a dot push. They were trying to get your med, but they didn't bomb your med. Which was very weird. You got, you clean up these what two the pigs, right? Even oh. Surf. <laughs> nice rocket. They're still committing to this. If they commit this far in, I mean, you might as well just kill their med, like. Kill everyone here. Yeah, I think I... Yeah, this is a good Uber. One one Uber for, like, these three picks here. Their medic, their demo man. Yeah. That soldier. It would have been fine. You guys are also giving up your ad again, if you noticed. Yeah. You guys are, like, sitting all the way back there. No, I, I remember... I think I just called for a reset, and then I Uber in. You guys don't even need to Uber here. Yeah, I, I, I didn't Uber, because we were sort of winning that for free. Yeah. That's fine. That's like a scenario where you can take it for free. <laughs> we stand on point because we think we need to cap it for a second there. No. Oh yeah, we were talking about like why are there like three people like standing. We just, we just, I, f I don't know why. I think we were just like they haven't capped mid. We need to cap mid, sort of. That was interesting. I don't know. So the rest of your team forward. This is a pick. Yeah, I called that. It's got three. You guys got two picks. This is a pick. Look. Look here, right? If you notice here, right? But oh, everyone's low. If oh. you focus on yeah. that as well. Yeah. Like, your team doesn't have, like, that, that great heals, right? Mm. But if you notice, you guys picked someone there because he was alone. Then you picked someone there because he was alone. And if you notice this guy here, he's playing far away from his team. Like, if you notice, like, look at this. See, like, that, there's his team. There's him. They actually use out here. We were talking about how they should be leaving. But they use out here to try and catch you for some reason. We were very confused. Your scout gets a pick here. Your scout was fragging. And he lives. It's a good thing. When you get when you get like numbers add. Because there's two different sorts of advantages. There's numbers add. And there's Why is there demo on. behind us? I just. I don't know. I don't understand. That scout doesn't die. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is this is this is where I you fucked guys, up. Yeah, you guys pretty much just next to go clean. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like you, the rest of your team pretty much died. There was not much you could have done. You kill binders, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's I fucked that up. I could have popped on the demo and the soldier earlier. Yeah, you could have saved your demo man and your soldier, but like it was just unfortunate. You guys got bombed. You didn't know there was a demo man behind did you, and then no. Yeah. The rest of your team died in faster than you could Uber. Because if you could Uber and save everyone there, that would have been fine. For some reason, their med hasn't been healing. Yeah, their medic was... I don't even know. Way back. You guys, like, should be expecting... Dude, that some background sort of noise. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, hey, you. What are you doing? I'm eating chocolate. Don't worry. You Mute guys, yourself. Keep healing. Hmm? Mute yourself. You guys, you guys want building here effectively, by the way. No, I so, agree. So in this whole scenario, like, you, you two are way too far forward. They could come in and kill you. You want to play a bit more, like, back here. Like, one of your scouts be up here. Because imagine being a soldier, you see, like, a scout up here. You know what I mean? And, like, you get the gist, right? What you should be doing is hard building, which you guys are doing now. But, like, you guys could be, like, having ad now because they weren't hard building. But you'd expect it to be somewhat even. You two are like really forward. Taking this position. It's fine. It works. But, uh, I don't know. That was a nice arrest. 
you guys were well, you guys shooting the same thing? It didn't seem like it. One of you was shooting the soldier, one of you was shooting the scout. I have no idea. It worked out. <laughs> the bulls were attacked. That was a nice bomb. And you live? Do you live here? Nice. Yep. <laughs> ah. There's no point hiding there. They knew you were there. But that, that was a good bomb. Like, it works out. Because you notice they're like playing really close and you're dealing good damage to them. Okay. These people are over extended. Look at this demo, man. He's very alone. You guys should be focusing him. Yeah, I called it. I remember. Nice. Now, your main priority is keeping these people off coming out. Your demo man should be like locking down these doors so that they don't do what they're doing right now and just walking. So, as a demo man, you're like, you want to be shutting down doorways, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You guys could have stacked there in order to prevent the uh, spawners, but it's fine. You guys take this. You guys are giving up ad as well, if you notice. Normally, you'd leave a scout and then you'd notice you'd like, you still have like 40, 30 ad, you'd come up here and then you'd try and kill them. But you guys are all stacking. You shouldn't be stacking there. Because if I, you stack, it's not going to change anything. I didn't think we had ad. Ah, that's fair enough. It's just super counting them there. Yeah, I mean, again, I've, I was main calling and juggling yeah. a lot of things at once, so. That's not on you, like, me medics, you know, it's a lot, already a lot of work, so. You guys got a pick here, someone should be uh, someone should be sacking. This sniper was very alone as well, by the way. Like, no, I, I agree. I sniper, I'd jump him in. I, I called for a soldier to jump him. I remember, but. Alright, this guy dies, and then you guys should be coming, like, one of, or two of you should be coming. I don't know what he was doing. Like, why would you play so aggressive as sniper? Uh, because he's trying to get, like, um, a med pick. Because it's even. Nice double bomb. You live, which is the most important part. Do you also live? What the? F I'm not gonna question. Ter you guys, uh, no, wait, you guys traded in here. It was very weird. So what happened there is um. Right. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I should use this to indicate. What happened there is um. You know, both your soldiers are going in. They double bomb. They quad with a nice double bomb. They force the medic. You guys don't need to come in. Let your soldiers get a medic. It doesn't matter if your soldiers die. It's preferred they live, so like when they did that, you saw one of them back off, which was good. I was expecting the other one to die. You guys keep your Ruber ad. If you don't have soldiers, they might come towards you. But second is so far away that if you like have like your demo man watching main, right? Spamming and stuff, you guys can hold that. If they come way too far forward, right? Just you Uber into them, yeah. Them and wipe them. So like you guys don't need to go in here. You guys should have just let your soldiers force um, and then just keep your Ruber. That in general is just the thing we need to work on, like fake pushing and then mm -hmm. sending two soldiers in or something go for the med force them they think we've pushed but we're actually out and we're ready to just hold yeah that's like the important thing but like you guys traded and then like the post super fight was just better for them yeah and cool. then obviously they're gonna have spawners and stuff is what you need to remember like their spawn is right there your spawn is way back in mid but like you guys are understanding what you guys you know, what went wrong there or what you should have done rather. No, I, I get I get that. It's just something we need to work on. We are like a new team, basically. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing fine. Like, don't get me wrong. I I think the basics we've sort of started getting down. Apart from mm -hmm. small things, uh, we just need to get a bit more nuance in our play, other than just push the last. <laughs> you know. That's fair enough. You don't want to do fine. You guys should be like getting ready to leave here. Yeah, that's know. that's kind of what I was calling. I think this is one the one where I fuck it up and I just get picked. That's fine. You guys should yeah, just spam doorway soldiers. Like you could be spamming, but try and live. Or or either that or you sack in for the med. Like you gotta pick one or the other. Like you can sack in for your med because it's gonna be even anyways, or you can just spam them. They're being very That med got really spammed out though. Could have yeah, been a bit more as well. Hmm. Yeah. So they use it and then you die, you drop. Yeah, that was unfortunate. We were talking about that. Like, I think I think a like random rocket plus a scout f hit me from like ninety to zero, and I just yeah. didn't expect it and didn't pop. I mean, uh, that you it was fine because uh, they you were about to get Uber. You knew that you were about to get Uber, right? Mhm. Mm and you guys could have held that because you were like playing all the way back there, but that's just unfortunate. You guys could have also left and just like one of your soldiers stack. That would have worked. 
Oh yeah, here we were talking about this. Um, there was like people behind. Someone piped him, and then your your, your scouts and stuff should be pressuring them, and then you guys should be leaving. Your medic wasn't healing for some reason. You don't have the uh, bunny bind. You should be like healing because when you yeah, you I I don't have the bind. I need to get on that. Yeah, because you keep the percentage. You'll go back there. Your demo man and your scout are very alone. And um, the demo man ended up dying. Yeah, that was just a bit scuffed in general. Yeah. They have full out here now. Well. They're using. This is fine, Flares. That scout focusing you is a good thing. But nobody got on point. Yeah, we were talking about this. You guys were all here, like in spawn and stuff. You guys need to like stop them from trapping the point. So it doesn't matter, like, especially your soldiers shouldn't off class. You should be bombing point, right? Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you die, as long as you're stopping them from capping the point. And then your scout should be like a sniper here to like force them as soon as they come in. And then you like switch out and then go heavy or something and stop them going into the point. But that's like, you know, yeah. Uh, try and look at what happens on left side here. Okay, so your team's fine on left side. Both your scouts are here. Your demo man's playing on the flank, which is something. You guys get a pick. Two picks, this is fine. This soldier's alone. You guys should be, yeah. Shoot the soldier, nice. And then you guys should be chasing, because they're free down and they've got a medic. But, it, oh, they have, so. They crits. Yeah. Yeah. This was, like, a really good, like, choke stopping. That scout with crits missed every scout gun shot peak. Yeah. You just failed to kill this med. That was just like unfortunate. Normally that med that would have died. But beef. This card's very alone. Okay. You guys you guys should have. You guys are spending way too long here. You guys need to take this now. Also classic came in from Go behind. Underneath. Follow, watching this right side. Yeah. What was like the scout doing? That it happened a few times where we ended up getting picked by a scout or a soldier just walking in on flank. Yeah. The flank, like you should be watching the flank and controlling the flank. Yeah, I think it's primarily because both our soldiers played like Romers. Yeah, and also you you're losing out because you guys were way too slow. You guys should be like in even, trying to get it, but it's fine. Yeah, so what was happening I mean, is both our soldiers played like roamers, so I kept asking for like a soldier to help, and they would like rotate in and out, which uh, isn't ideal. What I'd say is like somebody should be watching like the flank, and if your soldier's going for a play or something, or he dies, your pocket should be going to watch the flank as well. So like, it's better to have eyes on all sorts of the map, because you have all the information, right? Mm hmm. It's better to have that information. The sort of push we go for is like, just jumping a soldier through stickies and then having the demo man jump, uh, like walk in behind. Mm -hmm. But our flat, our flank got destroyed here. But me oh, and me and me and Scout just walked yeah. behind. He could witness this. This was very weird. He was lagging. To be fair, it was just very weird that they came all the way around. They came all the way around here in order to crit him, mm -hmm. and they didn't even like kill the med. Your med just didn't have to use. Which was, I don't know. It was more questionable on their part than it was your side, if you know what I mean. No, oh, I get that. You can't uh, predict bad plays. <laughs> no. But if you play like well enough, then. Yeah, you shouldn't get punished by them. Yeah. His scout's yeah, oh, yeah, aggressive on a demo. Run down your demo man. He could have, yeah. Flares, you go for too many air shots mid game. Yo, the the medic pick. Yeah, you don't need to go for that many air shots. Like you can, they look flashy and nice, but sometimes it's just better to hit the hundred. Um, yeah, one scout cap. You guys go forward. Somebody please check these corners. Yeah, I mean, that works. Sam's doing his job. Oh. Nobody checks down here though, Hello. and nobody yeah. checks the valley either, because he could have been hiding here. True. You wanna have like every doorway covered. So you want to have like your combo going through one side and then your flank coming through the other. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, something that's something we need to do map talks for. 
Just so, like, we all know which way we should be rolling out every time. It still happens to me. You guys used it. You guys didn't want me to. Yeah, it's, that's just me. But you, got, you guys went for a fair clue, but which is, I mean... Yeah, you guys didn't need to use... That was just my bad. I, f I think I used in just for this, like, for the sake of not dropping people and maybe getting enough picks, but it just didn't work. It's fine if you drop people there. I mean, like, you gotta understand that, like, your Ruber your Ruba and then, like, you know, uh, your, like, your other uh, players. To be fair, we only had 30% this ad here. Yeah, that's fair enough. They were just not building. And you also get two picks. Yeah. You guys tried to drive push this and then I, I don't know why Kyle ran in left side there though. Unfortunately. And then this soldier just walked in. Questionable. Questionable. Yeah, I think it's because their combo was behind. Oh we were we were like stressed that that star was about to back up by the way. We were watching that and we was like if blue loses this. You know you should have slight this out here. Not too much. So yeah, just build here, try not to take spam. It's, it's pretty much even, if you know what I mean. That is mad damage there. Bit overextending though. I don't know, what should that pocket be there up. really though? Hmm? Should that pocket be there though? Like there? playing so I mean, aggressive? I prefer like him playing a bit more high ground really. Yeah. Cause like you're doing the exact same thing from here, right? But you're but safer. You're not, yeah, you're safer. And if they come into you, you can just jump out. It's fine though. One of these cards dies. I mean, it's kind of a sack. You expect them to counter sack here. Are they running crit creep again? No. You'd expect them to counter sack you. You'd expect like one of their soldiers to try and get onto your medic. They didn't. You guys can now like you guys got your other soldier up. You can go for a sack again, or you can. Go Classy for a goes on mid, I think, for a pick. Yeah, he goes on mid, Gets and then he dies. Destroyed. And then you could just like double soldier or something here. Oh, you get two picks. Never mind. Just take this valley. Like, come here. Take your team here. I think that's right. what we did. And then just keep pressuring. No, we you didn't. We there. went. Your soldier goes in. You're tunneling the medic. He dies. I mean, it works, but in an ideal scenario where one of their scouts stood here, right? The bomb you did would have just gotten you killed. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I guess you wouldn't have made that bomb if there was a scout there, though. True. But I mean, it works out. I got sniped, so oh, upset, yeah. and then they just didn't contest the point. Yeah. It works out, but it's like just... I mean, watching this, it feels very much open gaming. Y y you know what I mean? No, I, I, get, I get that completely. Like, there's a lot of rounds that are just ended not because a team's playing well, but because the other team's playing terrible. Yeah. Which, which I totally get, but I guess you can only beat what you play against. <laughs> I mean, you guys were doing fine, to be honest. Like I said, if, like, you're playing Medic for the first time, there was, like, if you notice, there was still, like, a lot of advantages you guys lost. Yeah, But it's yeah. more like they kept feeding. Yeah, true. They, yeah, they were I definitely think. keen on, like, giving us free kills for some reason, which is yeah. odd. But, like, yeah, no, you guys played fine. But I hope you guys, like, noticed the little mistake, like, the mistakes you guys were making all together, like the advantage. No, the mistake. I know we make mistakes. I just don't yeah. know how to prevent them. Like I always call for like, please don't feed here. Like don't die. Cause uh, and then someone dies because they were already in, and now we have to wait ten seconds, and I don't want to push with numbers this hard. Mm -hmm. And like I'd rather just wait, exchange, or like go for a pick or something like that. But it just it just happens. I don't know. I like I don't know exactly what to do in situations. But when we've lost someone, I don't want to push five v six even with Uber because I feel like we lose that. Um, I mean, it depends on like who you who who dies if you're cutting your losses. Because if you got like a hundred percent ad, and they've got like twenty, you can obviously wait for your spawner, heal him, and then go forward. I guess. Right? Yeah. No. I I see what you mean. 
but on the other hand, if you got like twenty percent ad or something, I'm gonna go stop. Off. Should I stop recording now, or uh, yeah. are you going for a? Are you gonna explain stuff now? I mean, I'm just gonna quickly go over like little things. Sure. So like, you guys don't seem to do like that badly. If they're coming through like here, like there, there was one time where they had like full advantage, right? Mm. They popped through here. You had a soldier up there and a scout shooting him, which is fine. Uh, that worked. You guys shouldn't like all be trying to stand back here, like behind this thing. Because this is like, it's going to take way too long for you guys to get onto the point. Yeah, I feel like that's you know, medic just... spot to chill and heal. Yeah, this is more like a medic to chill spot. Yeah. Like you take your heals and stuff. Um, your soldiers should be trying to bomb in order to prevent the point. It's really good to like run a sniper. I don't know much about if it's uh, that great on like this map. Like you can, but it's really far away from spawn. To have like a sniper. Because if you're like here, right, and you're the enemy team, you'd use. Otherwise, your med would drop. Mm -hmm. The sniper. Um, obviously, there's NG players that work, and there's heavy that works. And you want to like, you know, deep spawn, and then like try and jump this corner here. And jump into them. Yeah. That's fine. When you're taking lobby, make sure one of you checks here. Mm -hmm. One of you checks far left as well. Mm -hmm. Like make sure to like check all these areas here. And um here is quite popular. And then like your flank normally will be on this side, by the way, so you can check lower as well. I've seen like people trying to hide down here quite often. And, uh, yeah. So you make sure, like, people are watching different doorways. Yeah, I think we here. need to, um, learn how to push out of last properly with everyone covering a, a, a pathway, basically. Yeah, what you should be doing is, like, your team covers, like, one area. Like, your team could be covering that area. Like, I don't know, your pocket could be going that area, and then you guys come through here. Or you guys can, like, push, like, one person through there. The rest of you guys come this side. Yeah. But normally, just pushing through the right side you should be fine, and whoever's on the uh, far left can just watch this anyways, like, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Second, uh, you know? Uh, yeah. Hold on a second. If you see a scout up here, this is, like, really scary. You probably won't jump into this. Because if you go in there, he'll straight meat shot you, you'll be floated. It works out because nobody's here, but that's because that was the mistake of the enemy rather than not yours. You're also tunneling the medic, which is like fine. You're going for like a force or something. Normally, like against a good team, they would be two down. They would know they'd be two down, so they don't have numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, players and uh, people. So like they'd probably be playing a lot of, like back here. And when you do that jump, like they'd either deny you mid air, or like they'd like just leave and then. Uh, if you land down here, you're on low ground, on like a little doorway, you're just gonna die. You want to land somewhere like, somewhere high, where you can like still spam them, but you're not like taking as much spam or you're not like in risk of dying. It works out in the end, which is fine. Uh, people going behind, if you're like, if you have numbers add, which is like, no, number advantage is like when you got like one or two picks and you want to make something happen out of it. Because they don't have like enough uh, manpower, they don't have like enough, you know damage in order to deal with you guys normally spamming through here is a good thing like you could send both your soldiers high and then like both take a different side or something and then you could just spam and then come up here normally people won't contest you as you come up here because you know you got more numbers you got more people to fight but if you're doing that somebody like wherever your combo goes your flank isn't so your flank could be like watching you know here and yeah i think that was a problem at the start but i think we've gotten better at that where the flank just knows not to push near the combo. Yeah. Mids. You guys seem to like know what the problem is. But it's just more like just follow your demo man. Your demo man says it's going bottom right. You guys go bottom right. Normally the best position to be in. This mid top left is alright. But it's uh, from most teams I've seen and played with. This is just a better position here. Because if you could take this high ground here early. Like you know. It's a lot easier for your scouts to get up here and stuff, like, instead of that side. Mm. Like, cow, yeah. cow runs, um, Winger, Winger yeah. But, like, uh, normally on, like, this side, it's also more protected. Like, 
if you're like the earth and then you know your med has a lot of like this whole room to surf with over there you're surfing into like a small corridor yeah oh you could try surf this way but then you know you're, you're flying across point at that point ammo. no I, I get what you mean so what what does a med do like go roll out as med and where would you go uh roll out on med it's been a while since i've actually played med but obviously no like I, I to this point like obviously you're rolling out for that show but where would you go from now you keep going with your team this way, and then the, over there, your soldiers. Yeah, you you can them. arrow, yeah. Arrow, give your both your soldiers three hundred. They should be somewhere around here. Yeah. And then you probably don't want to be here, cause think about it here. You're a medic here. Yeah. If you get rocketed, you're just like you know where you're surfing. You're not going way. anywhere. Yeah, I get you. So you want to come somewhere down here, and you also want like your scouts to shoot whatever stick is down here, and then you guys you come this way, right? Yeah. You should be like somewhere here where you're close enough to like get heals and stuff, but you're also far away enough where if they bomb, you can see them. Yeah. And then you can just surf away like here, right? Yeah. You also have a health pack in order to run away too. And your demo man should be somewhere here, mm -hmm. like spamming across or spamming across that way. And then you guys are just taking their side. And if a soldier jump, you know what I mean? Like you got a scout up here, can't really contest it, or you can have like a scout up here as well. You know what I mean? That's very passive, though. It, that's more passive, but, like, you guys could, like, stay there here. And uh, once, like, once your soldiers go forward, because there's, like, you know, there's the mailer bomb, which goes that way, and then there's, like, bombs that go across. You guys should be walking together as a team, so you guys could be walking across point and spamming. Because if they're in the low ground over there, you know, you're up here. You can just spam down on them. Right? Yeah, okay. On this side, you should be getting ready to leave. So, like, I don't know, they've got 100%, you see them coming valley, you know? Your team should be like, yeah, no, we're, we're out, we're out. Yeah, if you like, okay. know they're also coming, you could have, like, uh, what Flares did, which was fine, is he went up here. And, like, you spot early, you spam them, and then you should be getting ready to either leave or commit onto their med. Or you guys can, like, just spam them. Like, I don't see, like, enough soldiers do this, enough players do this. If they're, like, over, all the way over there, you know, like, the scout, like, dealing, like, six damage across the map, like this, you know, it's a good thing. Because if you guys just focus your fire onto the medic, right? Sooner or later, he's going to have to force. And then you guys could, like, leave. Yeah, that's that's what I I think I've tried to uh, work towards doing that. Where we have disad, but we don't just give up points for free. You, like, mm -hmm. trying to get something out of it that's safe. Mm -hmm. So if you're holding a soldier up top and then, like, someone's spamming, helping spam, you can yeah, easily spam force a med. And then have your combo, like, walk out. Mm -hmm. Which I think we did once in that scrim. You guys seem to be knowing, like, what you were doing for for the most part. Like, especially when you're mid part, you seem fine. Yeah, uh, I mean, our mids used to be disasters, so we heavily focused on improving those. Yeah, your mids look fine. Like, especially, like, holding mids and stuff, you guys seem really solid on. Um, knowing where you're going to push, normally... This is the best area to uh, to Uber from. You guys are like close enough to them where you can Uber and get it into them if they're like here, right? So you jump a demo man across here. Yeah. Oh, so so you recommend popping on a demo first, let them jump in. Uh, normally, what you do is you want to Uber on a demo man, let them jump, and then like flash a scout. Or it depends on a map because some maps it's just better for you to always bomb your demo man, like. Without yeah. a doubt, you want your demo in your Uber, but about like 90% of the maps, probably. Yeah. There's like some niche cases where you can like double soldier and stuff, but you know, those tend to be very weird. Okay. So you, you know, about 90% of your games, you're gonna Uber your demo man first, right? Your demo man should be getting ready, he puts a sticky down, and then you Uber, he goes through. Yeah. And then he should be like trying to destroy the enemy team or like block them out. Like you could literally put stickies here if they're all leaving and out. Yeah. And like your team should be like capping and stuff, and you want to flash like a scout normally after. If a soldier wants to go in on an Uber, then it's probably good to tell that soldier to fuck off. <laughs> right, okay. Soldiers aren't like uh, aren't the best. You can flash them, but like most soldiers will stay out of Ubers nowadays. Okay. It tends to not be great for soldiers to take Ubers. See that was that was my thinking when I when we started, just because mm -hmm. scout is OP. But Sam, Sam has definitely been pushing for, like, only flash the uh, explosive classes. But what? No, I keep telling Lee that I shouldn't be flashing. 
No, you, you, right, you literally said yeah, today. Yeah, we, were, we were talking today that there was like one point where you guys were like on a trade and you were flashing your scalp for some reason. So what happens, it depends on what type of Uber it is. You gotta think about it. If it's like an Uber to catch someone in, a demo man will be great because the demo man will jump and then they'll lock people in, right? Sure. They'll lock people out. If it's like an Uber for like uh, trying to get frag, normally a scout will be good because you Uber him, he just walks in and you just start shooting things and see who kills things faster than most other classes do. Uh, normally you won't heal a soldier because normally what a soldier is going to do, they do what the demo man does but worse. And they jump in, right? True. And they, they, they try to like deal damage. but like They only do like, like 300, right? <laughs> No, no, but the thing is, like, it depends on, like, how many rockets you're hitting. You're jumping across, they can see you, you're dealing, like, what, one rocket? A demo man can come in, and then, like, if he, like, puts two stickies down, you know what I mean? No, I, I get what you mean. Uh, it's easier to put the lock down. So, so, mainly a demo man scout. If, but then, scout. will the pocket walk in late? Uh, the pocket just go follows behind, so normally, like, you guys go in through, and okay. then the pocket will just, like... And you can walk... Yeah. Would you recommend like walking in as a pocket or jumping? Uh, jump in after. Like normally, your demo man's gone over there. Your meds following your scout. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then the your soldier can walk in and assess, I guess, and see <laughs> where he can help. Yeah, he just jumps in. Yeah, fair. Make sure like people are alone. Okay. So that's that makes sense, right? Normally, you're not gonna be coming through lower. This position, like. I mean, it's not a great position. Yeah, I know. For like, this is the only place where you'd. <laughs> Sorry. I think either you or the enemy team, I can't remember who, came like down here and then they tried to come here, which was very interesting. Odd. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is like no. The the reason you'd use this is if like they uh, they sack someone in, like you're defending, right? I don't know. You're like standing over here or something, doing something. They sack someone in. You kill that person, right? And you need to pressure in order to get a sack in. Because yeah. normally when you do that, right, the enemy team isn't going to be in house anymore. They're going to be seeing, like, how you guys did, right? Yeah. All the way back here or mid. So what you do is you bring your team through lower, right, all the way over here. And, like, you put, like, a soldier there, someone there, and you just spam across. And then, like, one of your soldiers will go and sack in. And then after that happens... Well, you, know, you just get mid for free in that situation, don't you? Because they'll, no. they'll start walking out. If it's even. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if they've lost a player, you've just gained a lot of positional advantage. No, you get a lot of position, but you guys can't come into a fight here because uh, against better teams, they'll trade with you. Yeah, okay. And it's normally like their spawner is going to come eventually. And you know what I mean? You take all this space, but look at the space you're taking. No, I get you. Do you notice like something? I mean, it's all low ground, yeah. Yeah. So, like, what you want to do is you want to sack someone in, and then you guys don't stay there for longer than you have to. You guys get out. And while you guys do this, like, somebody has to be watching to make sure they don't, you know, just come from behind. So, like, if you guys are doing something like that, normally you'd have someone watching this. So that they don't just jump across and kill your team, if you know what I mean. Okay. Like, being here is fine. Right. Alright, boys, I'm going to bed. Fair. Oh, good. Good night. I hope this helps you, by the way. Yeah, no, it's Sorry. useful. Alright. Thanks for the... Uh, I've got everything recorded, so um, 50 minutes of pure uh, learning. I mean, yeah. Have a good night. You too, Flaz. Bye-bye. Later. Alright, we'll call it there.